Hello, dear designers. I have received uh, some questions regarding um, how to simulate the frequency using COMSOL. So I'm gonna try to show you uh, how to do it um, in, this little, in this little video. So please work with me. I have... Okay, I have created a beam, a silicon beam of 100 microns by five microns by 10 microns in 3D. And, um, and I have uh, uh, given the polysilicon as the material, sorry, the width, the width is, is uh, five microns and the height or the thickness is one micron. Mm, I use polysilicon as the material and I create the uh, linear elastic material. If you go on top of the solid mechanics, linear elastic materials and right click, you're going to find that you can add here a damping coefficient. And some of you asking, asked me today uh, how to add the damping coefficient. So it's here, right click on linear and go damping. And once you have the damping, um, you can select the isotropic loss factor. Uh, right now, right now we're gonna make up this number. We're gonna see how to calculate it later. And I'm gonna create this as one over Q, just to give a value. What is Q? I need to create a parameter that is defined Q as 500. I'm gonna use this Q as a parametric value. So I'm gonna change multiple times this, this Q. Now I'm gonna get my study. I'm gonna add the stationary. How do I add? I add um, going into the, uh, in the, to the study and in the study one, sorry, in the study steps, I can add many steps. So stationary, stationary, or the frequency domain, for example. So I'm gonna add the stationary, okay? And that's gonna solve only displacement. Um, oh, the other thing is uh, on the edge, I create an edge load and I apply a force of FC. I create another parameter that is FC of one micronewton for that, for that cantilever. So um, I go ahead and add my stationary and that's gonna solve just displacement. If I add the frequency domain and I select a, a range of angles, I will go here, select, and select the exponential function, and I'm gonna select frequencies between one hertz or 10 to the one and 10 to the five, okay? 10 to the five in the steps of 0.1 hertz, okay? Um, I'm gonna head and solve this one. And you're gonna see how the beam is gonna be deflected in the initial position. But if I go ahead and I and add a first, a one degree plot and I appoint and I add a point graph and I select the point graph in the edge, I gonna have for the three parameters that I did, that I modeled, oh, I didn't explain that, sorry. Um, after I simulate the frequency, the stationary, I can add another one that is parametric and parametric with the Q. The Q is going to be the loss factor or is going to be the damping factor that we are gonna call. So I'm gonna make that Q make 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and one. And at the end, the damping factor is gonna be one over this. Okay, so I have three damping factors and I wanna simulate how those three damping factors are affecting the frequency response of the material. So I'm go going ahead, simulate that one. And when I have my 1D plot, I'm going to see exactly what we saw in the class. And is for, um, for a Q equals to one, um, I'm going to have this is going to be my, my, my amplitude. And in the low frequency is going to be higher. In high frequency, all of them are just connecting, are, are just decaying. Um, I'm going to have a second damping factor of 0 0.5. Remember, my damping factor, it is 1 over Q, 1 over Q. So I'm going to have another 
a damping factor of 0 0.5 and a third damping factor of 0 0.2, one over 0 0.2, that is gonna be the total damping factor. So for those of you that were concerned about the damping factor, this is how you include the damping factor in the simulation. And this is how you do a frequent simulation. I hope that this clarified a little bit um, your questions. Thank you very much.